So today we're going to discuss a new, unusual, unexplained radio signal somewhere out there. But let's just get it out of the way. Not aliens. Pretty sure it's not aliens. Like 99.9% .9 sure it's not aliens. So if you came here for aliens, don't leave yet, stay for science. Because today we're going to discuss one of the more bizarre radio discoveries in the last few years that the scientists have actually never seen before. And once again, it was discovered completely by accident. And so, hello wonderful person, this is Anton. Let's discuss this new discovery of an unusual radio transient discovered extremely recently, talk about what it probably is and what it most likely represents, and why this is important for astronomers. But I guess first, let's get a few definitions out of the way. So this is called a radio transient. In essence, an unusual burst of radio waves coming from somewhere out there in the universe that in some cases only erupts once or sometimes can flicker or be even predictable. And when it's predictable like what you see right here, it's something we refer to as a pulsar. And today we know quite a lot about pulsars. Here's for example the famous Vela pulsar, visible in the X-rays as seen by the Chandra Observatory. And so we know that in many cases, as the neutron stars spin and as they emit their jets, they tend to actually produce a lot of different emissions depending on what they interact with or where the jets are pointed. And so in many cases, repeated radio transients are essentially almost always neutron stars. But in pretty much most cases, these neutron stars spin pretty fast. And that's because they're really small in size and because of the conservation of angular momentum, as a large star becomes smaller and smaller, it starts to spin faster and faster. And since neutron stars are only a few kilometers across, they basically end up spinning at ridiculous speeds. Many of them spin hundreds of times per second. Which means that radio pulsations come to us several hundred times per second as well. These are usually called millisecond pulsars. But in one of the recent studies, the scientists discovered something we've really never seen before. Because despite being a radio transient, it seems to have a very strange cycle. A cycle that seems to be at least 54 minutes long, but also seems to change quite dramatically over time. Sometimes it seems to emit a lot of really long bright flashes, sometimes fast and weak flashes, and sometimes it does absolutely nothing. Which means that the researchers just discovered the strangest radio transient we've seen in a very long time. Something that you're going to see appearing in this image right here, and something that nobody right now can explain. But it's most likely, at least according to the scientists, some kind of a neutron star. Although out of approximately 3000 neutron stars discovered so far, this by far is the strangest yet. Because if it is a neutron star, it seems to be spinning super slowly. Instead of spinning like hundreds of times per second, it basically takes 54 minutes to spin just once. And if that's the case, it actually doesn't really make a lot of sense. And so what exactly is this? Well, first of all, the name. It's currently known as ASCAP J1935 plus 2148. And the numbers here are important because they actually show the location. And the location is extremely close to another source. SGR1935 plus 2154. And if you've never heard of this, check out one of the videos in the description, because this is basically one of the biggest discoveries in radio astronomy. It's a fast radio burst that came from right here in the Milky Way from an extremely famous magnetar. And so that's basically how this other source was discovered. The researchers were actually trying to discover even more fast radio bursts coming from SGR1935 but instead, completely by accident, they discovered another source very close. And here it was just blinking every 54 minutes, producing very slow flashes, but flashes with what's known as circularly polarized radio waves, implying powerful magnetic fields, which is probably why it's not really aliens. But then by using additional observations from South African Miracat telescope that's even more sensitive, they were essentially able to confirm that this seems to be a neutron star after all, but just an extremely weird one we've never seen before. And it also seems to possess at least three different modes. Sometimes every 54 minutes, 
it produces a very bright, linearly polarized pulses that last for about 10 to maybe 50 seconds. This is kind of what you see in this time lapse. But sometimes it produces extremely quick pulses that are circularly polarized, here only lasting 300 milliseconds. Yet sometimes it does nothing at all. And that basically suggests that, okay, maybe there is something orbiting this neutron star and something disturbing it, producing different magnetic effects. Or maybe it's in the middle of some kind of a really large cloud, such as a pulsar nebula, that's able to change its effects over time. So basically here there is a lot of activity around this object. Or maybe this is not a neutron star and instead some kind of a magnetized white dwarf. Technically, a white dwarf could be spinning so slow and could actually produce some radio emissions. But the problem is that white dwarfs normally don't produce radio emissions that are so powerful. This object is believed to be at least 16,000 light years away from us and no white dwarf has ever been seen producing such powerful radio emissions. And so instead it's actually believed to be some kind of a slow spinning neutron star with maybe a white dwarf or even some kind of a different star orbiting around it. Which could explain why the light coming from here seems to be polarized differently or sometimes nothing appears at all. And so at the moment a slow spinning neutron star is still the best explanation. And if that's the case, it basically shows us an extremely important part of the life of a typical pulsar. In essence, it shows us what happens to pulsars right before they stop being pulsars, right before they die. It's actually believed that over time pulsars slow down and at some point once they spin slow enough, they switch from being pulsars to being just regular neutron stars. And so maybe this is actually what we're observing here. Maybe out of 3000 neutron stars, this one is the first discovered that shows us a transition from a pulsar to a dormant neutron star. But these are just speculations for now. Way more research is needed and a lot more observations are required before all of this can be confirmed. Either way though, this discovery is super exciting for a lot of scientists interested in neutron stars, pulsars, fast radio bursts or radio transients in general. Because by discovering such a unique, unusual object, this research will definitely lead to a lot of exciting discoveries in the next few years. Although interestingly, in this case, since radio researchers usually don't look for such long signals, it's actually surprising that this was even discovered. One of the reasons it was even seen is because the Australian ASCAP telescope that was able to find this usually sees things in the much wider field of view and is also able to see things in a very different time frame. But I guess for the most part, the researchers basically just got super lucky. And so even though they were looking for fast radio bursts, instead they discovered literally the slowest radio burst ever. A new exotic radio phenomenon that currently does not have a very good explanation. But not aliens, probably. Although as a side note, this is actually not the only such object known to us. At least three similar phenomena have been discovered before, which are now referred to as long period radio transients. Objects that emit very polarized light, lasting for tens of seconds or even several minutes, separated by relatively long periods in between. And because this object was also able to produce relatively fast radio bursts, here the scientists don't think it can be anything but a neutron star. Based on the emissions in milliseconds, this basically constrains the total size of this object, so it can only be maximum of a few kilometers across. Or basically because of the speed of light, the maximum size of this object is just a few tens of kilometers. While at the same time, because the scientists observed several pulses and those pulses changed with time, it actually suggests some kind of a change in the region around this object, implying physical changes, possibly from some kind of a plasma or some kind of a gas surrounding this object. And so basically here, in order to learn more and in order to find out exactly what this is, scientists would have to observe this for at least a few more months. And so at least for now, we're going to assume that it's most likely a neutron star or maybe some kind of a really exotic, unusual object we've only seen before three times. Either way though, a super exciting discovery and yet another anomaly or another mystery to solve in the next few years and something else we're going to be discussing in some of the future videos once someone figures out what's actually happening here. 
Until then, check out some of the previous videos on similar topics, including things like orcs and fast radio bursts, in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.